going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chappy Chats. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is an Iron Man shirt. And whether or not I'm Team Captain America or Team Iron Man, you'll never know. Iron Man. So, let's go ahead and dive into stuff. Hope everybody's having a happy, happy new year. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about some of my pet peeves and some other people's pet peeves. Driving slow. What's the point in that? If you're trying to get to where you're going, why don't you go the speed limit? If I'm coming up to you and you're going like seven and a half miles an hour and the speed limit is 35, I want to go 35 to 40. When you're on the highway, driving slow in the left lane. What's the point in that? I'm in the right lane and I don't want to pass people in the left lane so I can go faster. But you're driving the left lane, going slow as heck. I can't get over because there's a guy on my right side and you're in front of me. Now I'm stuck. Where do I go? You have the option to move out right to the right lane. Do you? You don't. Talking too close, talking too loud. Disrespect's kind of just a general one, I think. Feet. I don't like feet. People talking over you. Um, why? Is what you're gonna say is like that much more important than what I'm saying right now? Can you wait at least like 10 seconds for me to finish what I was gonna say? So why don't you just let me finish? I don't know. Like, is what you're gonna say more important than what I'm saying? Probably completely off the topic anyway. Next one. Not using your turn signal. Most of these are traffic related. Sure, I understand. None of my business is where you're going, but it's let me know that I need to brake. That's how accidents happen. You don't turn your turn signal on, I don't brake. You turn, bam. We're both calling the cops, insurance. Maybe you don't have insurance. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to get that covered. Even if you don't have insurance, you're paying that stuff out of pocket. Not my fault. Slow turners. What's with the braking to two miles an hour and then turning? Why don't you just turn at 20 miles an hour? I mean, it's really not that hard. I've done it. You can just go, whoop, I swear, you won't cause an accident. I mean, maybe when it's snowing and you'll do a little bit of Tokyo Drift. My fiance gave me this one. Makeup in the gym. Why do it? You know you're going to sweat. You know you're probably going to sweat really hard. And my chair really squeaks. Obviously, I don't wear makeup in the gym. Nor do I wear makeup ever. One time. Did I mention feet? I don't like feet. Not using cruise control. I mean, you want to save gas. Wow, really, all of these are car related. Especially when you're on a highway and you got to, like, Ease on the pedal, ease off the pedal, ease on the pedal, ease off the pedal. Why don't you just use that little that little switch that sets you right at like 75 or whatever the speed limit is. Okay, just keep up with traffic. Don't go slower than traffic. Don't go faster than traffic. Just be right with it. Texting and walking. You don't know, you don't see where you're going. So you're just going to text, you're going to look up. One of these days, you're either going to trip, smack your face, all the change is going to fall out of your wallet. You run into somebody while you're texting. BAM! All of a sudden a fist hit your face, asleep. Now, I go to the gym pretty often, three to four times a week, give or take. One of my biggest things is putting the weights back in the right position. I'm always trying to find like the 25 pound dumbbells or something, and they're not in the 25 pound spot. And so I'm like looking, and somehow they end up in the 10 pound spot. That doesn't make sense to me. If you take the 25s, you put the 25s back where they go, not the most convenient spot. Here's a couple golf ones, not repairing your divot. Fairway, definitely, because you don't want somebody else landing in your own divot, not like you're gonna know, but at least fill it with sand or fill it with the turf. On the green, when the ball hits a green and you have a ball mark just take the little t and you just go boop, 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 and you tap it with your putter that's it one other thing is not speaking your mind i really think people hold back things and it's okay because there's a certain line that you don't need to cross where it's rude anymore if you're thinking of saying something rude don't say it be honest with people hold back to a certain degree to where it's not rude speak your mind and don't speak your mind there's a gray area but draw the line somewhere in there Oh yeah, and parking in handicap spots, that's a huge pet peeve for me. If you're handicapped, fine, you got a sticker, you got a license plate, but if you don't and you park in those spots, you're taking spots away from people who can't make that walk. Disrespectful. A lot of people don't say anything about it, and I know I probably wouldn't. Eh, I don't want to get in a fight because I'm not really confrontational. And then, we're in the bathroom. Don't take the urinal right next to me. Especially if there's no wall parting. If there's a wall parting, go to town. Take that urinal next to me. But if there's not, go a couple down that way. Chewing with your mouth open. We all see you take that little bite, or the big bite, whatever. But don't chew with your mouth open. You got lips for a reason. Close them and chew. Your mouth still moves when the food's in there. And it's crude. And it's really rude to everyone else around. You notice the differences in that? Now, I know there's a lot more pet peeves out there. Um, let me know what your pet peeve is. Put it down in the comments. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And if you have the YouTube app, make sure you hit that notif button so you know when I release a video. We'll see you next week. Peace out.
and I'm drunk. Okay.